morning everyone i am dr pranka hiplani working as professor in guru gobind singh college of pharmacy today i will demonstrate you the working of dissolution test apparatus so we are having lab india dissolution test apparatus ds 8000 model number it is eight jar dissolution test apparatus it basically consists of six parts first is this dissolution jar these jars are detachable dissolution jars so before performing any of the dissolution testing we have to detach the jar and clean it properly i show you how we have to detach the jar like this we will clean it and then we will again place it in its position we will fill the dissolution media in this and then uh, next part is this water bath and the uh, third part is this heater it is used to maintain the temperature of this water bath and the dissolution media which is filled in this jar and before working in the dissolution test apparatus we are to switch on this apparatus at least 30 minutes prior to the dissolution any of conducting any of the dissolution study so that temperature is well maintained during the whole process next part is this cannula this is used to withdraw the sample from the dissolution jar and syringe you can see this syringe is attached at the back to suck the sample from the dissolution jar next part is this shaft i show you this is the shaft depending upon the type of the study you may select a paddle or this basket as we can see now we are performing the dissolution of a paracetamol tablet so that's why we have already attached this paddle to this particular shaft now we will attach it to the assembly and we will tighten the holder after doing this next part is this operating system this in this operating system we will set the program like uh, uh, how much rpm we want to perform the dissolution studies or the number of samplings the timing between the samples all this will be set in this operating system so as we can see uh, there are four options that is program run print and function so first of all we have to set the program so we will select one and then press enter and then we will give the program number say for say i am giving 14 number then again press enter then give program name name for say i am doing dissolution of paracetamol tablet so i will give a p and a again press enter and then as we are using usp apparatus 2 that is paddle type apparatus already 2 is written if you want to use basket you may press 1 now i will press enter uh, then uh, about the volume like i want 900 ml it is already there if you want to change it you can change it from here next is temperature it is already 37.5 degree celsius if you want to change it we can change it from here i'll press enter over here then is bath temperature the temperature that you want to set you may enter over here this is already 37.5 so it is okay i'll press enter then rpm i want to conduct the study at 50 rpm it is already entered if you want to conduct it at 100 rpm for say i show you how to change like this you can then press enter then whether you want to record the temperature at 0 hour or minute i don't want to record it so i'll press enter then samplings are already fixed then total number of intervals how many intervals you want to take uh, say for say i want to take six intervals i will enter it then again press enter then buffer change is required for tcm no buffer change is required i am doing it in distilled water in case of enteric coated tablets basically buffer change is required in that case you may select yes but in my case it is no so i'll press enter then interval time like i want to take readings for say after every 5 minutes it is already 5 but i'll show you how to change it for say i have selected 10 minutes i want to select 10 minutes again enter and then 1 and 
zero. Now it is after every ten minutes a beep sound will you will hear a beep sound and you have to take the sample. Then you will press enter. Recovery test I don't require that. Press enter. Now if you want to view the program which you have set, press two and then enter it. Now it comes in the view mode. You are to enter the program name. It was fourteen. Press enter. Then PA was my sample ID. I have selected paddle type apparatus. Buffer volume will comes. Then temperature is showing, and then bath temperature which I have set. RPM I have selected hundred. It is showing. Sampling is manual. Recording temperature zero. I I don't want that. Sampling is fixed. And then whether buffer change is required. I have selected no. So it is coming. And total number of intervals I have taken six. And uh, interval time is ten minutes which I have taken. And recovery test I have pressed already no, so it is showing the program. Now we are to run the program. For that we will press escape. Select two. As you can see, it is showing run. And then press enter. It is asking the identification number. I have entered PA. Then again, press enter. Now, as you can see, paddles are going downward till they are reaching to their particular position. After they have paddles, they are fixed to the particular position. We will place place these caps over the dissolution jars, and then we will uh, and uh, then we will insert this tablet for which we are to conduct the dissolution studies. Paddles will move slowly. You can see the paddles are moving. Now we will place this cap over the dissolution jars, and we will insert the tablet for the dissolution studies. Now I was telling you about how to withdraw the samples. Now I'll show you. This is the cannula for withdrawing the samples, and this is the filter. You can see. We will insert this cannula in the jar from this hole. See, hole is there in the cap. We will insert cannula. And then we will withdraw the sample. Like two ml sample, I am withdrawing. I'll put it in the test tube. Then we have to replace it with the. Same amount of the fresh media. And replace it with the fresh media. Now, after we have withdrawn all the six samples, we will stop this. Dissolution assembly. Now, how we do that? We will press the escape button. You see, the paddles have stopped, and then we will press the. Then we will remove this cap, and afterward we will press this up arrow key so that the paddles may reach their positions.
video on all these six samples also. After that, we will go for UV analysis at particular lambda max to determine the concentration of drug at each time interval. And when these patterns they have since they are just reached their positions, so we will remove this shaft by losing this holder. And after removing this, we will also remove the dissolution jar from its position and clean it properly before going for the next, next dissolution study. So thank you very much.